Dr. Yildiz Bayatsolo, H.S. Cameron, Chair Professor of Mechanical Engineering at Rice University in Houston, has been chosen for honorary membership for outstanding contributions in transforming fundamental research to engineering applications. These include photothermal cancer therapy, space waste heat recovery, and nanocomposite materials processing. Professor Bayatsolo is also being recognized for dedicated service to engineering societies and for being an inspirational mentor to women and minority engineers. Professor Yildiz Bayatsolo is the author of nearly 200 publications, the recipient of the first PhD in engineering to be awarded to a woman by the University of Michigan, and the holder of a named chair in mechanical engineering at Rice University. What drives all these accomplishments? Ask her husband. He says, I'm glad that you're not a cat. I say, why? Because he says, curiosity kills the cat. Professor Bayatsolo's career has been spent satisfying one curiosity after another. Her specialty is heat transfer, and her research interests include containerless processing. I do uh, use electromagnetic levitation and heating using radio frequency waves to heat and levitate metals. I can work with very reactive metals. The levitation allows her to add nanoparticles to create a much stronger material. She has also worked on radiative heat transfer. For example, how energy from a laser is absorbed, reflected, and scattered, which demands highly complex calculations. Those calculations are not easy because it's an integral differential equation combined with the other conduction, convection, or phase change makes it complicated. So I did work on how we can approximately yet accurately solve those equations. As the devoted mother of three sons, Professor Bayatsolo is keenly aware of the challenges faced by a woman in the engineering profession, especially those who choose to be mothers. When her children were infants, she and her husband decided she would stay at home with them for a few years. After four months, I panicked. I felt like I'm forgetting everything I know and nobody ever will hire me afterwards. Someone did hire her, of course. First in industry, then came opportunities in academia. And throughout her career, she has found ASME to be a rich source of support among women in the profession, especially the heat transfer specialists. We like each other, that's, that's very important. We enjoy our friendship. Not only personal support group, but also technical support group. And now she is a champion for women in all fields of engineering. One day, I am hoping that before my professional life ends, I will have more female students in class than male students. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs>